I don't care how much money people make. What kind of car they drive. Holes. I can never be a slave, niggas, they gon' have to pay me Navy Downloaded by the titles like Jay-Z That's a roll offshore like an AP Davy Jones like her own top of those hoppers off the side of the ship Suicide didn't die from the dip Submarine man, keep your eyes on the blips Sonar, echo location, know where we are facing Get back to our nation, hola So we walking back to Africa And I found a detour to the seashore Yes, jumped on Hey guys, what's good? just got to the studio and today I have our customer experience meeting we call it our CX team um, it's our team of people we meet together and we talk about how we can make an exceptional experience for our clients our customers I will share a little bit of that with you and tell you how you could do that yourself and where to start it's gonna be pretty interesting yeah, yeah. I came to make an example but I'm not a role model Watch what you facing your cameras. You niggas got whole problems. Hide my face through the scam. They trying to profile. Yeah. I can't be giving no answers. I know how to go by. How can I make an example? I'm not a role model. I'm working on keeping my pants up. I got a whole problem. And I just love stacking these bands up. I got a zone problem. And no, I can't give them no answers. No, we don't know nobody. And she do it without no hands. Mm. She do it so sloppy. Bitch, when I say I'm a baller, I ain't a globe trotter. Hit up a nigga from far, uh, they don't know who shot him. What's our why? And does everyone remember? How do we forget so easily? It's so easy. It's our tagline. It's like all over the place. Okay, and what do we mean by that? Three people, three groups, we want to create an exceptional experience, right? So create one for yourself and your teammates. Create one for the end user uh, and create one for parents. So I've been thinking about this a lot lately, um, especially when it applies to myself, but in terms of purpose, like what is the purpose of my business? What is the purpose of me? Um, why do I get up in the morning? What, what is it that this is all about? Um, and I think if you ask a lot of people, like, what is their purpose? Um, even businesses, if you ask a lot of companies, the founders of those companies, what is the purpose? A lot of them can't really narrow it down in terms of anything that's something bigger than just themselves. Um, and especially on a personal level, if you ask a lot of people, what's their purpose? It's hard for them to articulate something. It may be something that they've never really even thought about. And, you know, if it's something you've never really thought about yourself or if you do have a business, it's really good to ask yourself, what, what is your purpose? And I'm not talking about, especially when it comes to business, I'm not talking about something small like, you know, making money. Of course, making money in a business is an important thing. I'm talking, something, talking about something that's massive, something that your team can get behind. Because as a leader in your business, one of the most important roles you have is to give people something that as a team you can start to work towards so when you really dig into that question what is your company's purpose what is something massive that can help transform your culture 
till the baseball bat then relax Like I ain't got nothing to say no, no. So I don't wanna hear no feedback She said she like how I do it Cause all be in my mouth and I got the seat back Oh, oh my she's applied with a mean back She got a little attitude but I love that brown skin And she smells sweet like a blunt rap Sweet it's the flavours Let's think the creators all my niggas love that Fed chase and my nigga mo kicks in I look back So for me and my business it's, it's pretty simple um, our tagline for the business is we create exceptional human experiences. And so when we first came up to, with that, um, um, or rather when I was thinking about that idea, um, it really was um, speaking specifically about the end users, the people that I design for, right? So a lot of my projects are things like hospitals, healthcare, or retail spaces, shopping malls, or airports, entire cities actually we work on. and. Of course, the end user is you know people like you. You visit an airport. You know I'm the guy that um, designs the signs that help you navigate the space. I'm the guy that develops the public art that you'll see in airports or in cities or or, or wherever you go. We sort of create that entire experience for you so that you feel comfortable in the space and you're able to navigate it. So obviously, that tagline was initially developed for the end user, but then. It sort of evolved into that this idea that if I'm going to create an exceptional experience for the end user, I also want to create an exceptional experience for my clients. So the people that hire me, I want them to have this exceptional experience just dealing with Lima, right? And that's why we have these CX team meetings where we dig into the micro to really understand every tiny touch point of how clients interact with us. And that's how we develop our customer journey. So the customer journey, as I'm talking about, starts with a why, this big reason. So if I now have a purpose that I'm going to, I want to create exceptional experiences for the end users, I also want to create an exceptional experience for my clients. So of course, this is going to drive how I work with my clients. I'm going to give them um, above and beyond. I'm going to go just beyond the normal uh, way of dealing things and I want to give them exceptional work. Everything from when they visit my website to when they visit our studio has been a huge asset to us in that clients absolutely love coming here. They love working with us here. They love having meetings with us here just because we put so much attention into how, um, how the space is. But the third group is kind of the most important for me and that is can I create an exceptional experience for the team that works with me? And so that then connects to my personal purpose um, because it's my job as the founder and leader of this company to give my team members an exceptional experience working here. So a lot of people that join here, um, you know, typically when you hire people, they're going to fall into two camps. Either they're A players and they're going to stick with the company a long time and I want them to be here or they're B players and they quickly sort of fall off. They're not able to hack um, working here because it is a challenging place to work. You know, I expect people to be A players. I expect them to be leaders. I expect them to dominate what it is they're doing, but it's my role to help them to be there, help them to get there. And some people just can't handle that. Um, and so, but even if people can't handle it, and let's say I need to remove them or they need to resign because they're not able to, to handle this, um, I still want them to leave with this idea that that was the best company I ever worked for and that they believe that I was the most supportive boss and leader that they've ever worked with. Um, and that Lima as a company was the most supportive environment that they could have ever been in. Um, because I want people to grow. And if they stay here, I want them to be awesome and kill it and help my company grow. And I want them to be deeply, personally satisfied from that. But if they decide that, um, or I, you know, I need to remove them, um, or they decide that uh, this isn't the place for them, I want them to go off and kill it somewhere else and do great. Um, so I really see those are the three areas. The end user gets an exceptional experience, my client gets an exceptional experience, and my team gets an exceptional exceptional experience. So that's really the why behind our business. And what's kind of interesting is that that's very hard to compete against because people try and rip us off all the time. They try and steal the way we work. They try and imitate us. They, they use the language we use in our, um, in our web copy or in our proposal copies. And um, 
what they end up being is just sort of a weak, watered-down imitation of us. And the reason they can't copy exactly what we're doing is because, one, they haven't built a culture. That's a big part of it. And two is they don't have a why. Their why is about the money. And the reason I know that is because the way they try and take business from us is by undercutting and by lowballing on fees. And when you lowball on fees, your why is all about the money because you only care about getting that job to pay the bills. You don't care about creating a project that has a purpose to give people a great experience. So that's why generally we don't lower our fees. Um, we have you know set rates and we work only with those clients who appreciate the work that we do. So um, um, it's very hard to compete against the company with a big why. It's almost impossible. That's why you need to have your own why of why you're in business. And on a personal level, that's why it's hard to compete against people who have a big why, right? A lot of athletes have a big sort of massive purpose why they're doing things. And it's hard to compete against them because they're not just in it to win the gold. They're actually in it for some other greater purpose, perhaps to make someone in their family proud. Perhaps they've lost lost a loved one and, they, and they're working towards that. It's sort of once people get this why in their head, uh, it's really hard to compete against. So I'm just heading to the gym uh, today. Today is a strongman class actually, but also because this is a place that has a really strong customer experience. It's I actually had the opportunity to work with uh, this company Interfight um, on their customer experience, but even before I started helping them, they already had this amazing experience for their members. Um, where that customer experience comes from is having a really strong why. Um, the company understands its why, and when you think of many gyms, what's their why? Like, why are they in business? Of course, most gyms would say, well, they're trying to help people lose weight, right? But this gym has something very different. And, you know, I know Marcus, the owner, and his why translates, his personal why translates into the business. And that why is to make people better at life. So when you start thinking about how that transforms into a gym, all of a sudden it really takes things to a whole new level. You're no longer just concerned about people losing weight because it makes your brand look better. You're actually concerned about them doing better in all aspects of their life. So that's, so that's like pretty huge. And that's of course why this gym attracts a lot of A-class people, a lot of very elite athletes, the coaches are amazing. Really everyone who comes here, I'm always impressed at what they're doing in their personal life, right? So it's an excellent place. Do check them out on social media. Um, I'll put a link down below to some of their channels so that you can check them out. hard workout I went really heavy on uh, farmers walk so I'm feeling kind of a bit uh, tight up here already anyways I thought I'd end the day by going to the beach the weather is getting a little bit better right now in Dubai uh, it's still like 41 or something it's still crazy hot but better than normal so I haven't been to the beach in a while so I thought I'd come today and just kind of finish my day here I've been dreaming about you for a long time you can't even lie I know you mess with the ball can't get you out of my mind now you got everything I'm looking for I'll be acting like a guy with my confidence boost you can lay down let's get comfortable Ooh, all these little so yeah back to the gym I mean you're talking about these these sort of big whys the great thing about having this big why is that your team and your your clients actually get behind your why, right? And they help you grow because obviously people like to support companies that have big visions and have a purpose and a purpose just beyond making money that, that lets your customers sort of get behind you and support you. So if you don't have a strong why, like a really strong, you know, I, I encourage people to really think about that uh, in their personal lives and their um, in their business lives you know you can do a lot of research online about it I'm not a motivational guy and I don't definitely know all the tricks uh, and there's still things that I'm working on improving myself but I would just sort of encourage you to look into that and really coming up with your your purpose why it is you get up in the morning and if you have a business why why it why is it your team should work for you why should people care why should people join your team right 
And I think the thing for people to remember who do have a business is that customer experience isn't an accident. It's, it's, you have one whether you like it or not. Um, but the thing is, if you haven't really dug down into the micro of to every single interaction of how your customers are dealing with your brand, how your uh, team is engaging with your brand, um, it's something you really need to think about. It's something I'll probably do a future video on because I have a whole process that, that we work with our clients on in terms of developing customer journeys and developing customer experiences. Um, and it has a lot to do with like your culture as well. So I'll probably do a video series on that, uh, sort of the 10 steps that you can walk through with your business. Um, and, but the most important thing is it all starts with why. Yeah, do you like the way I kiss your lips? Do you like the way I say your name? I can't be yours, no, no. Uh, I can't be yours, no, no. Uh, yeah, I can't settle down. Mm. I'll be yours for the night, I tell you, I tell you. Yeah. You hate that shit, but play it off. And it's so alive, it kill you.